If your RV has one of these dual port charging outlets with USB and 12 volt, then what you need to do is replace it with one of these. This is a four position plate for adding USB and 12 volt charging ports. What I'm gonna do in this hole up here is install a switch. So I've got 12, that's USB, 12 volt over here and then another USB right there. It did require a little bit of creative cutting and carving to get everything to fit correctly. And it fits perfect. Here's the switch that I purchased. It's a standard round rocker switch and it has this little specially designed socket that it fits into which then threads into there. And it has a little LED indicator light on it so that you know when it's turned on. Although you do have to connect a ground connection to the switch. And there we go. So that way it gives you the ability to disable your charging port to conserve battery power. And when I made a note about conserving battery power, some of these 12 volt ports actually have little indicator lights on them, like this one. And then the power supply that does the conversion from 12 volt to 5 volt USB, that can also draw a little bit of power as well, even when there's nothing plugged in. So I didn't permanently install this because I had the switch on its way, but I'll show you what I did. Behind here I had to enlarge in this hole to get the bigger plate to fit. And then originally we just had a ground wire and a power wire and then what I did was um, piggybacked one to the other by cutting the original crimp terminal end off and then just making some little short short wires to jumper from one to the next. So this one here will go to my switch and then back here is my 12 volt power so this comes from 12 volt power it will connect to the input of the switch this will go to the output of the switch and then this will go to the ground on the switch to provide uh, ground connection for that LED on the switch itself we'll just go ahead and pop the switch in and the brass colored terminal is ground if you're crimp terminals don't fit real tight, then take a pair of pliers or something and squeeze them together just a little bit more. That's what I'm going to do to this one. Okay, it fits real tight now. And that one fits good. So now we'll just kind of tidy up the wiring. There's not a whole lot of clearance back there, so I just want to sort of flatten out this wiring so it doesn't hit the stereo. Just kind of smash it all down together. And once you have all the wiring tidied up and tucked back in there, then you can go ahead and screw this in place. When I first mounted this, I actually pre-drilled all of those holes. And the panel has little cutouts at the top and at the bottom for these flaps. So the reason this is mounted upside down is because I wanted it down in the bottom so that the flap opened up down. That way, if it, I, I wouldn't be fighting with the flap trying to see to plug in my USB if it was up here. The flap would kind of dangle down and get in the way. And there we have it. See that light turns on, so that would be using power all the time. And that's exactly why I wanted a switch on here.